Hello beautiful people, thank you for popping in to see what's happening down on Boddington Farm. We need to talk people, we really do. Have we not learnt every, anything from these last 12 months? After seeing Melbourne go into lockdown again. Hello Harley Quinn. After seeing Melbourne go into lockdown again and all the panic buying, really guys? Has nobody learnt anything about putting stuff away? Say, so, I know the rule is, don't show your preps. Right, Agent? That's it. But, I'm gonna, because hopefully it will help you guys, or those that haven't woken up, to, you know, put some stuff aside. It doesn't take much. So this is, this isn't all our preps. This is the store as John calls it. If he's hungry or whatever, he comes into the store. So I just finished ripping it all apart today because Agent finally got me a set of shelves so I could get stuff up. So what have you got? I, honey, last forever. Pick one up every second shop or whatever. Pretty cool. Yeah. You know, like the peanut butter and Vegemite go on half price sale. I'll buy two. Easy. This stuff in here. It's all single serves. So if someone comes to the door and they're hungry, there you go. Here's some Vegemite and a slice of bread. Off you go. And this here is one of Agent's favourites for when he's working down in the backyard on a hot day. Add it to my... Um, my drink, my, my work container with, with some ice. Absolutely beautiful and helps keep Agent on his feet. Keeps him hydrated because he only drinks coffee and Coke or Pepsi. Yeah. He hates drinking water. But I do on very hot, on hot days when I'm working down in the yard. I hope you can see this. This is part of the coffee stash. Because you need coffee, otherwise Agent gets cranky. And it won't be pretty if he can't have his coffee. And of course, there's all different ones. We've got light on the situation. So you, we've got all different sorts of coffee. But it'll all get used. You know, again, somebody rocks up to your front door and they're hungry or need a coffee. Here you go, here's a tin. Now bugger off. So it's not about prepping for doomsday and the end of the world. What happens if you lose a job tomorrow? What happens if you're injured and you can't work anymore? What happens if you go into a five day hard lockdown like that recently happened in uh, Victoria? And people are out panic buying. Have they not learned over the last 12 months or so to make yourself ready? Like when we went into lockdown a couple of months ago, five day hard lockdown in our area. Panic buying crazy and we just went, yeah. Dickheads. And then of course we've got some longest term storage in here. And we've got cereals and sun dried tomatoes and... Um, cornflakes. <laughs> cornflakes. Eggs. And yeah, that's powdered eggs down there, dehydrated eggs, um, I've got a heap of mushrooms I've put aside, started making some mushroom powder as well that you can add to smoothies and dinners and stuff. And soups. We've got some long type, bleh, long life milk and John's actually lactose intolerant so he's got some of his lac free milk there, we've got powdered milk, we've got nuts. We've got some custard even. You know, you've got to have special treats in your preps. Heap of sugar, of course. Uh, sugar. Salt. Salt. And then you go down here. And this is all the cleaning gear. Bleach. Have you got plain bleach to help with water purification and stuff? 
Hmm, did you think about that? So, you know, we've got dishwashing liquid, we've got hand soap, garbage bags. I think I counted up, we've got like 400 garbage bags or something. Even down here, we've got old B.O. Basher. He wants to be smelly. Down the bottom here, it's all stocked full of antibacterial wipes. And you come up here, we've got our dishwasher tablets. Not the fancy ones, you don't need the fancy ones. Well, I've got a thing of fancy ones in there. Got some cat food. All your foils and stuff. Tea lights. Have you stocked up on candles? We're witches. We always got candles. Okay, these dry, dry pastas. Amazing things. Look, long term storage, too. You know? Can still use them with your dinners. We love having chicken wings and one of the risottos or pastas together. Tissues, paper towels, toilet paper. Yeah, we've got 12 foot ceilings, <laughs> but it doesn't go all the way up. There's stuff underneath there, so it only starts from about here and, what's that we've got and there? goes up. And we've got Butane canisters for the for the camping gas stove. Which is in here too. And we've got more of them down there as well. We've got a whole box of Glen 20 down there. In here. Which we need to stock up on. We've got lighters and um, fire starters. Matches. So they don't get wet. More matches in there. Wood smoking chips. So that you can make some yummy smoked meats um, and then under here all the hand sanitizer look at that and it's stuff you know i do my normal weekly shop or fortnightly shop and i pick up a hand sanitizer from aldi so we've got some and then we've also got you know the little packets there we've got all the personal hand sanitizers in there so if agent needs one from work for work he just grabs it and goes and then we've got a stock of soap there we've got my shampoo stocked up there and then we've got other stuff in here like this box here actually has to go into the long-term storage I managed to pick up some freeze-dried apple pie and ap apricot crumble for half price. So I grabbed some. Who has to do it the tough in a lockdown? Exactly. You've got to have nice stuff. And then there's more. No, there's nothing in there. Seriously? What's in there? Most important. You've got to be able to make a brew. Who needs this camping billy teapot? To make a brew and then starts more in here like all that pasta or well, the majority of it agent has actually been bartering no been reciprocal gifting you can't barter it's reciprocal gifting whatever he takes in a, a dozen eggs we get packets of pasta in return good deal i think and in these little things, you should be holding this. That's just a couple more candles. But in here, have you thought of things like this? Oh, it's a cooling towel. We've got raincoat, safety pins, nappy pins. You've got Knives in there. You've got C candle wicks. Candle wicks. You've got um for your oil wicks. Oil wicks. Yeah, for the little oil lamps. Citrine oil lamps. No, for the oil lamps that we've got. Yeah, them too. So 
is all little bits and pieces. You're prepared. You don't have to worry about having to go to the shops because you've got it all. And this is just doing it a, one or two things extra every shop. We've got vinegar. We've got sweet soy sauce that we love. Apple cider vinegar, sweet chilli sauce, oil. We've even got a water filter to put onto the kitchen tap if we need it. Um, we've got pancake mix. We've got muesli bars, muesli bars for days. And that all gets it recycled through, like say, recycled through. Yeah, so if I buy new things and the stuff out of here goes into the kitchen pantry. So in here, all our canned stuff. Hang on, baby. You right go. there? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's all our canned stuff. Like we've got soups, beans, tomatoes, Heinz spaghetti, asparagus. Can't do without the dill cucumbers though. Um, up the back, up the top there, we've got more soups, tuna, we've got all our canned ham here, beetroot, tuna, chickpeas, canned mushrooms, tomato paste, and this is all the stuff we love to eat. Red cabbage, sauerkraut, sauerkraut. Yum. though we do want to make our own, but we do have some, loads of minced garlic. We've got the ramen noodles as well, down the back there. And in here, we've just, well, that's all powdered milk. We've got sugars, we've got mac and cheese, we've got Oreos, we've got cup of soups. It's just all little stuff. If we go into lockdown, we're fine. We don't have to go out and panic buy, but people aren't learning. We've been doing this for over 12 months. Stick a couple of extra things in your shopping every fortnight. Have a look at the half price specials. Like we had half price specials on a lot of stuff that we prep. Like I do put up a video about it, but like these were on special. So I got two for the price of one because they were on a half price special. I always shop the half price specials. And then you get all this stuff in your pantry and you don't have to worry about a job loss. Someone gets injured for some other reason, you know, money stops coming in. You don't have to worry about it. You've got everything on hand. Did you want to say something? Yeah, I'm going to say, um, folks, if you do find yourself in a situation where you need to go, out and buy stuff at special notice. Bear in mind, you know, having to, having things like tall paper, yeah, it's good. It's, it's really great and probably necess necessary to have. But what's even more important, folks, is sustenance. Okay, it's not it's, it's not real fresh having you know about you know six or, or eight hundred rolls of toilet paper when it, when you've got uh, bugger all food in, in your pantry and you know when, when the food runs out if it does run out or you run short you really can't eat toilet paper mind you having said that <coughs> if you do find yourself in, in a situation where you will have one of the cleanest bums in the world and don't forget to get little treats like look at these you know they're on a half price special you know some cakes some other desserts don't forget herbs and spices. Instant puddings. Oh, you and your instant pudding. Well, it's better than nothing. Yeah, don't forget herbs and spices. Get stuff that you use all the time. You know, I've got jars of stuff everywhere. And uh, vacuum sealed as well. Even down the back there, I've got some dried mushrooms too. Stock cubes. I've got stock up in there as well. Sugar. Brown sugar. All kinds of sugar. And like, I've even gotten stuff like this as well, which John is my uh, taste tester. 
So if they taste good, they're on half price special, we'll grab some. Have you thought about putting some cream or whipping cream into your preps or just to put in your pantry? So guys, just think about it. It doesn't, it's not rocket science. Just buy an extra something so that if the lockdowns happen, you don't have to worry about it. And all, all it really takes is, uh, is like when you go shopping, you know, just buy one or two extra of the, of the normal staples that you get and a couple of the long life stuff like, you know, the pasta, the rice. You don't need to buy, you know, big 10 kilo bags. Just buy, you know, one or maybe two extra each, each time you go shopping and it soon all adds up. And then you will start being ready for if you do find yourself in and in a lockdown or an SHTS situation, you will be more ready than you were if you didn't have a little stockpile. It doesn't take long, folks. This has all been done in a year, the majority of it. I had some preps because of where we live, we can get flooded in. So I, I've always had at least two weeks of food on hand, but it's grown from there since all this stupidity and like we're not on a huge income at all I'm on a dis disability pension Andrew's on minimum wage so and then other things you can think about is getting yourself a dehydrator or a vacuum sealer I've also got another dehydrator which is in my um, three-in-one air fryer and I love that the best does a really good job so yeah guys I don't know if I've helped to wake anyone up actually or reprioritize I've got another thing that would help maybe help save people you know or help people keep a little bit of uh, sanity if you know if it's good down whatever and there's no power they can't charge up their tablets or anything like that Have some books on hand, people. Really, get some of your of your famous of your favourite authors and have some books on hand. They don't need batteries and games. There's some games. Pack of cards. They don't need batteries. Okay, you, you, you can take them anywhere, and you can keep yourself entertained. So there you go, baby. Oh, don't show me on there. I look disgusting. I'm still in my jammies. <laughs> Sexy. So, yeah, guys, I, you know, it frustrates me as someone who does prep that people haven't woken up in the last 12 months to have something extra at home. It's not that hard, is it? It's not that hard. Not rocket science. So... Hope I've helped. If you've got any questions, stick them down below. Don't forget to smash that like button because I love thumbs up and it helps with the algorithms. The algorithm. Don't forget to subscribe, tickle the bell, and we're going live tonight at 8.30 Brisbane time. So hopefully we'll see you then. See you guys. So please folks, give us a big thumbs up, share this, hit the subscribe button, and tickle that bell to receive notifications.